In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the slope of a line um, if you have two points that are on the line. And this may be something that you've already done before, um, so you can just use it as review, or if you can try the problems, check the answers, and you might be good to go. Okay, so here's our slope formula, m equals y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2. So if we have two points, um, we're going to label them x1, y1, because that's the x value of the first point and y value of the sec of first point, and x2, y2, x value of the second point, y value of the second point. Then we're going to use this formula. So slope will be y1, which will be 3, minus y2, 7, over x1, which is 1 here, minus x2, which here is negative 4. Okay, so we'll simplify the numerator. 3 minus 7 is negative 4. Simplify the denominator. 1 minus a negative 4 is positive 5. And so we get our slope is equal to negative 4 fifths. Okay, so we're really just using that formula to find slope. And it doesn't matter which point is your x1, y1, and which one's x2, y2, as long as you keep them together. So here, we want to find the slope of the line through these two points, so we're going to call this x1, y1, x2, y2. So our slope will be y1, 6, minus y2, negative 4, over x1, negative 3, minus x2, negative 3. So 6 minus a negative 4, that becomes a positive 10. And here, three, negative 3 minus a negative 3, well, that becomes 0. And here we have a big, 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 big problem. What, the biggest rule in math is that you can never, ever, ever divide by 0. It doesn't make any sense. So here, when you get a 0 in the denominator, only in the bottom, you will say that the slope is undefined. And what's actually happening here, if you think about graphing these two points, so if you go over to negative 3 and up to 6, and negative 3 and down to negative 4, and you connected these two points, this actually happens when you have a vertical line. And vertical lines aren't functions, um, and so we don't define their slope. Okay, let's look at one more here. Um, so this will be our x1, y1. This will be our x2, y2. And our slope will take y1, 5, minus y2, 5, over 4, minus negative 2. Now here, be careful. Don't jump to conclusions. We do get 0 in the numerator over 6. And here, it's different than 0 being in the denominator. When 0 is up top, we're saying 0 divided by 6. Well, 0 divided by anything is 0. So here, our slope would be 0. And if we see what's happening, if you plotted these two points, you'd actually see that you get a horizontal line. And horizontal lines always have a slope that is 0. Okay, let's, just, let's do one more where we're going to use the same formula, but the notation is just a little different. So it says find the slope of the linear function where f of 3 equals 6 and f of 7 equals 9. Now, just so you know which ones are the x's and which ones are the y's, think of it, we normally say f of x equals y. So the values inside the parentheses are our x's, and the values on the other side of the equal sign are our y's. So this is going to be our x1, y1, and this will be our x2, y2. So remember slope y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So we'll have 6 minus 9 over 3 minus 7. So here we're going to get negative 3 divided by negative 4. And the negative 1's would cancel out, so our slope would be 3 fourths.